If you've ever wondered what some of our NHL players get up to in the offseason, we've got a pretty stellar example for you this morning. Mitch Marner is getting ready for his annual charity event. The Marner All-Star Invitational pairs up participants with celebrity coaches for a two-day event. This is all for a great cause to raise money for children's social care, health, and education. And this morning, we're checking in with the man behind this mission, Mitch Marner. Welcome to your morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Uh, can you explain to us how the All-Star Invitational works? Because it's split into three parts, or I guess we could say three periods. Yeah, um, July 13th, we have the cocktail night that's at the Toronto Event Centre. Um, it's more so, I guess, kind of a fan zone, you can call it, but also, um, you know, a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, usually, by the end of the night, there's quite a bit of cocktails roaming around through uh, some people, which... Um, they always seem to enjoy quite a bit. Um, you also got the athletes kind of just walking around and, and enjoying the time, um, taking time out for the fans and uh, taking photos, signing autographs, doing all that kind of stuff. And then we got some live action, uh, auction fun, sorry. And um, then July 14th is the day where you get on the ice. Um, you know, you bring a group out of four and um, it's kind of a, I guess you can kind of see where your skills line up to the pros and at the same time, you're getting help from the pros. And uh, something I've been saying just all morning is the fun of it is uh, you can get a group that's five and six year olds, and the next group coming on the ice is a group of 30 to 40 year olds. And both groups are having the same amount of fun. And that's something I think everyone really enjoys. It really is one of the more popular ones, and for a great reason. In terms of celebrity coaches, I mean, you've had some great names. You've had Natalie Spooner join you last year, uh, Jonathan Tavares, a lot of your friends from the NHL. Who can we expect to see this year? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, those. Uh, JT is coming back this year, which we're really excited about, and uh, obviously that's a pretty big name. And then we got some uh, amazing female hockey players as well: have Jamie Lee Ratty, Laura Stacy, um, Marie Philip Poulon. So um, there's going to be a lot of gold medals flying around the the, the weekend. But um, yeah, we're very lucky that uh, these athletes take time out of their busy schedules, and um, you know we're just very fortunate that they want to come out and help the cause and uh, help try and make a difference in, in the community. And you are, really are making a difference. You know, Mitch, this is your name fronting this. This is your big event. It's your foundation. You're five years in now. What are you hoping that participants walk away with? Um, I think just a great time. I'm just, you know, really just enjoying the time on the ice or at the cocktail night. Just, you know, getting to see that uh, us as hockey players, I know we look pretty probably boring on interviews and through uh, camera lenses. But, uh, you know, we got a lot more character, a lot more fun in us than, than we show it. It's just... You know, obviously our sport's a little more uh, low-key with all that kind of stuff. So for us, it's just going out there, enjoying the presence of having um, everyone around us and just kind of going through the skills competition with the kids or with the adults. And um, then obviously at the end of it, you know, doing our own little scrimmage and having our own little fun and enjoying each other's presence. So um, that's kind of what I want everyone to take away from this weekend is, is just having a lot of fun, um, enjoying it, knowing that it's all going for a great cause. And um, at the same time, it's still a competition and everyone's competitive. Yeah, we can see that. I mean, you can see how much fun everybody's having by those smiles that we are showing people just now. Hey, I know you can't really answer this, but I can't not ask you. A lot of speculation about the core four, what the Leafs are going to look like, who could potentially get traded. There's a studio full of Leafs fans who are staring hard at me right now. Can you drop any breadcrumbs about where you hope to be when the season starts up? I mean, I think I've, uh, I've said it a lot of times where I hope to be. So um, for me, it's not really part of my job to worry about that. Um, you know, I can't really do anything now. Um, for me, it's just making sure that I'm taking care of the best I can of myself in this off season to become the best player I can be in this upcoming season. So, um, you know, like I said, hopefully everything stays the same. Uh, it's not up to me to decide that. Um, that's, uh, that's out of my control. So for me, just try to make sure I'm the best I can be when the season comes up. Well, we love what you were doing in the off season. You're raising a lot of great money for a really great cause. Thanks so much, Mitch. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.